Tim here. So after a lifetime of wimpy trucks, I finally bought something I'm proud of. A new Ram heavy duty truck with a 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel engine. So I set out, along with my best pal, James here on the video cam, to visit the folks in Columbus, Indiana, where they design, test, and build the Cummins turbo diesel. Hey, this truck changed my life. I'm your biggest fan. You know how long a Cummins turbo diesel can last? Eh, well, I don't either. But does 200,000 miles sound like a lot? How about 500,000 miles? Yeah, that does sound like a lot. But did you know that there are trucks out there right now that have gone over a million miles? I mean, a million miles, that's a lot, right? Yeah, so I figure we should go find out how it is they make these engines so that they can last so long. So right now we're headed to CMEP the Columbus mid-range engine plant where they actually build the Cummins 6.7. So we got there and guess what? This plant was designed by a world-renowned architect and it's got parking on the roof. Yeah, on the roof. How crazy is that? And then you take an elevator down to the plant. So we did that and we met with the quality leader, Mike Galarno. We got safety glasses and everything. He told us how Cummins has been building turbo diesel since 1989. In fact, Cummins has built over 1.7 million turbo diesels for the Dodge Ram heavy duty pickup since then. So I figure they know what they're doing, right? So Mike, tell us what it is you guys do here at CMEP. Well, here at CMEP, uh, uh, we produce the 6.7 liter turbo diesel for the Ram pickup truck. Uh, Cummins has been producing that engine since 1989. Uh, uh, CMEP has been producing that engine since 1992 exclusively for the Ram pickup truck. Uh, to date, we have built over 1.7 million uh, Cummins diesel engines for the Ram truck. So, almost 2 million engines made right here in this building? Yes. Wow. Okay, so how is it that you guys make these engines so that they can last so long? Well, CMEP focuses on quality uh, okay. and safety, and of course safety uh, being first uh, as uh, the safety glasses and vests and shoes are required by all visitors. Yeah. Uh, and, and looking at the quality, uh, it's designed into every component uh, uh, that we use to assemble the engine. And not only that, it's also in every manufacturing process used in the facility. So it's not just the parts, it's also the process. So looking at that, an engine will not move to the next station unless all the processes and components have been assembled correctly and the fail safings have been satisfied. Okay, so you, you guys would catch a mistake long before it moved on down the line. Yes, it's not allowed to go into the next station until it um, uh, is satisfied to fail safe into the current station. Okay. So with that, you also have to look at the uh, six seven inherent design is an inline six cylinder. Uh, that has 30% uh, less components than a typical V8 configuration. Uh, All right, so, so the fewer parts in the engine that's currently in my truck means that there's less that can go wrong with it. Yes, oh, right. uh, okay. also the six seven uh, is based on the proven uh, durability of the 5.9 liter. Uh, today we've talked to customers that have more than a million miles on their uh, Ram pickup trucks. Yeah, I was telling you about that, a million miles, can you believe that? Just so you know, that my truck's gonna be one of those. I'm gonna be on that list someday, a million miles on a truck. Could you believe that? That'd be great. We took a stroll through the plant. Man, is this place high tech and clean. Heck, you could even eat off the floors. And everything and everyone is focused on quality. So what does it mean to build quality into an engine? Well, Tim, uh, at CMEP, we have many in-process verification tests to ensure that. Uh, for example, behind us is a uh, multiple test. Uh, the first one is leak check. Uh, it tests the fuel system, uh, coolant system, and oil system for any leaks. Uh, while it's performing that check, uh, we also hook up to it electronically, uh, called an ETS test, uh, where we test the ECM, uh, for all the any connection issues, uh, all the sensors, and the wire harness with all the connectors. Okay. Uh, so once that's completed uh, and satisfied, it, it then moves on to uh, two different test systems that we have. 100% uh, of the engines go through them. The first one's a cold test sequence. Uh, it's a cold test system uh, that you hook the engine to an electric motor that rotates at uh, prescribed different uh, RPMs. Uh, uh, well, it's at each one of those RPMs, uh, we're taking torque measurements, uh, vibration measurements, noise measurements, uh, looking for pressures uh, uh, and signal inputs and outputs. Uh, we analyze those results, and with that, we can tell the health of the engine through that test. Okay. Uh, then it moves to the next test, which is uh, what we call an attribute or a hot test. 
where it's also hooked to a dynamometer. Uh, the engine is actually fired this time and burning fuel. So it's actually running. Uh, and this test looks at uh, how the engine, will it start and will it run? Uh, that specific test is designed for major, three major components, uh, the first being uh, the turbocharger performance, uh, to make sure the turbocharger is working properly. The other thing, is there anything wrong with the injection system of the engine uh, through that process? It will catch any of those defects that are in the injection process or debris in the injection system. Uh, the other one that it looks at uh, is the cylinder blow-by. Uh, to make sure it looks at the performance of the cylinder, cylinder pressure, uh, to make sure that's within specification. So after passing those two tests, uh, the last test before we ship the engine is another electrical test just like uh, uh, the ETS test done here. Okay. So we'll verify any uh, ECM issues, uh, make sure all the electrical connections are made and all the sensors are still operating functionally. So if anything uh, would fail in these process or these verification tests, the engine is taking offline, uh, goes through a repair process, and has to go back through those uh, battery of tests uh, before it's released uh, uh, to be shipped to the customer. Okay. Uh, so at CMEP, we're pretty proud of the quality uh, of the product that we ship to Chrysler. So really, the bottom line here is if you build it really well, it's going to last a long time. Yes, you're right. correct. And uh, for an example, uh, we purchased back a 6.7 uh, uh, Cummins diesel uh, from a Ram pickup truck customer that had over 280,000 miles on it, uh, brought it back to the plant and ran it through the same battery of test and it passed. Wow. Uh, and uh, just like it was when we produced it uh, a few years back. That's amazing. That's yep. the perfect test right there. Just throw it out on the road for 250,000 miles, right? Right, yes. <laughs> That's great. Did you get all this stuff going on back here? This is all the tests. Well, not all of them, but one of them. Then we saw the engine test cells. And guess what? I got to run the tests on the engine. Yeah, yours truly. Mike also told us about the greatest proof of the 6.7's durability. The turbo diesel owners with a million plus miles. Like Harry Allback of Goshen, Indiana. And Carl Haar of Oskaloosa, Iowa just to name a few. That's one long lasting engine and the newest 6.7s are built with the same focus on durability. So when we left CMEP we knew a lot about why the 6.7 lasts so long. And you know what else we learned? Cummins has been making turbo diesels for four generations of Ram trucks. That's a lot of experience. We got to run an engine test. How sweet was that? But I still don't get the parking on the roof thing. Okay, so you know where we are right now? No, dude, not you, them. We are in the cafeteria at CMEP. I mean, this is where the people who build the 6.7 actually eat their lunch, and they've welcomed us in. It's like we're part of the tribe now. Hey, what's up, compadre? See, they love me. I'm their biggest fan. The main jump. 